name is Amol Amol Mukta Kolke, and his name is. My name is Tushar Sanjay Patil. We both are scholar of Indian Patil Sir Shital Academy, Amol Nair, and today pair debate pair debate competition, and our topic is. Should today's should today's youth participate in politics? My side is no, and his side is yes. Yeah, we shall really about Indian today's youth are participate in the politics. Even right now, with the with all a lot of owners are here, but even they are not doing that much work. And if suppose the youngers are come, so they take this not in corruption, this not in poverty problem, but any any problem that solution we will get by the youth because youths are active. But right now, youth is not in that work, but they do nothing. So right now I want to just say that the youngers are participating in that politics. But I totally disagree with you, Mr. Rahul. If suppose young person will be participating in the politics, now many youngs are addicted. They only they are only doing something for only selfish. And more many many youngs are they are they are selfish. They never thinking about the gross people of family. Then how they can think about our country? Friends, But, our Ramayana, Mahabharata, our before past grand uh, grand person, they collect many information from that, and they sh they saying to us, and that our today's young <laughs> don't know about that, and how they will take to our country, and if you don't know about that, politics is the backbone of our country, and politics one who is addicted, then our whole country will addicted. But these sums are addicted. If suppose you are thinking about the education, if suppose uh, you be younger are educated, but if you talk about the older, they are doing education. They were. They are only trying to make our India as a destroyer. But they are destroying our India. So is this good for us? If suppose today's youth are they are just make our creativity. If they are doing some infrastructure, they are doing something good work for our India. So is this good for us? I mean, and it will be good with the help of today's. I wanted to tell you that, Mr. Amol, if suppose how grand person can handle politics, you don't know about that. Grand person have much of knowledge about politics. Then they can handle our. They, then they can handle politics. You don't know our Mr. Narendra Modi. He has talent. That's why he can sit it on the Prime Minister post. Let it be. He was the seller. Even his mentality was so strong. On the base of mentality, he can. He could sit on the uh, and the world but post. But Mr. Prime Minister, to me, our Narendra Modi, he is educated. But lot of politicians, they are not educated. They have lot of crimes. If you talk about the Devendra Fadnavis, if you talk about the lot of chief ministers, they have become crime a crimeless person. So it is good. But right now, youths are only they are not doing crimes. So it is good for us because in this right now, over India, if one are doing crimes, so he will not get job. But I so totally disagree. If of... suppose in our today's policy, in our uh, future politics, young youngs will interfere, and they are selfish. And if how they will find it? Where is corruption is happen? Where is starvation is happen? They sell, they selfish. They will, uh, they self will go there, and they will demanding money from the from that uh, from that person. And politics are demanding money. If suppose Narendra Modi have much of talent, why go in power or why young political leader they don't have knowledge about that? If suppose uh, if suppose pan center sell a uh, pan center owner can sit on the post of minister. If suppose key seller can sit on the post of prime minister. It is mentality. It is no. It is it is uh, politics is the power of knowledge. And if suppose but not only education knowledge, but, but we must have our uh, own knowledge also. We should not selfish. Our mentality must high than others. Then, then that's why our India could get chance for interfere in G20 on But the basis of that. If suppose youngers are not get chance to uh, prove their self, so how is it possible? If suppose you are only thinking about that, that orders are going there in the G20. If you do, if you saw there, youngers never. I want to tell that because they are politics. Today's young politicians, they are now are going to interfere in the politics. But when we are watching to them, they are ever they are in the depression. We will ask to them what's happened. That thing is something. Something is problem there in my family. Something is problem in our party. Something is problem in our surrounding. Means political leader, they are not uh, strong mentally and physically. Then how they can stop our problem? How they how they can achieve our how they can achieve our success and how they could give. Success to our India as superpower. That's why grand political leaders are better than young political leaders. Thank you.